Metió vos. Metió vos. Yo vi. Developing now, debris from a 23-ton Chinese rocket booster just hurtled uncontrollably back to Earth. Skywatchers on social media have been posting videos of what some experts believe could be images of the rocket booster burning up in the atmosphere over Malaysia. But CNN cannot confirm the veracity of those images. What we do know from U.S. Space Command is that the booster re-entered Earth's atmosphere over the Indian Ocean a short time ago. It had been in orbit for less than a week after delivering a new module to China's space station. And this is not the first time that China has been accused of improperly handling space debris. And joining me now is Jonathan McDowell, astrophysicist at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Uh, physics, excuse me, Jonathan. Great to see you again. Uh, you've been following uh, the movements of this debris, and it, I mean, what's your sense of where it landed? Uh, you know, do you think there were uh, any areas uh, on on dry land where people are that uh, that were in danger in any moment during all of this? What, what's your take on all this? Right. Well, uh, we do know now that that the rocket re-entered over Sarawak in, in Malaysia uh, at, at the eastern end of the Indian Ocean. Uh, and so it came in uh, kind of over the capital of Sarawak heading east uh, and probably the debris hit the surface a few hundred miles east of there. It's not clear yet whether it hit actually on the island of Borneo or into the sea. And so we'll have to wait until anyone, you know, uh, it's, it's great to get these videos, which I think are authentic, uh, of the thing breaking up in the sky, but what we really want to know is did any pieces actually uh, end up sitting on the ground? And so that may take a little while longer uh, for the reports to filter back. And why is it so hard to figure out where this kind of debris is going to land? I, you know, I feel like this, this comes up every now and then, and we're all sort of, you know, helplessly, you know, looking up into the sky almost out of a scene from Don't Look Up you know, wondering where the rocket is going to land. Why don't we have more control over the situation than this? Right. Well, you know, normally when we uh, put a big rocket in orbit, we have a restartable engine and dive it into the ocean, a particular place under control. But this Chinese rocket doesn't do that. It's just left in orbit. It's at the mercy of the upper atmosphere winds. At some point, it breaks up and re-enters. But you can't predict when that's going to be in advance. And because it's traveling at 17,000 miles an hour, if you're an hour out in when you guess it's going to break up, you're 17,000 miles out in where it's going to land. And so it's an intrinsically hard problem. Uh, it certainly is. And this is not the first time that China has allowed space debris to fall to the earth like this. Um, is this a matter of China not caring uh, where its debris is going to land from outer space? Uh, is it... Uh, a matter of their, their capabilities are just not where the rest of the world is. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, I, I think they, they just are not as concerned about public risk. Now, to be fair, we've had stuff re-enter from, from U.S. satellites. There was a piece of a SpaceX Dragon ship that crash-landed in Australia just a week or so ago. Uh, but, um, uh, but they're much smaller objects that we allow to re-enter. Uh, no other country uh, leaves these 20 ton things in orbit to re-enter in an uncontrolled way. And so that's just on China for designing its rocket that way uh, and not taking the measures that other countries do to prevent that happening. 